We're going to begin now to talk about Windows architecture. This is no longer a physical architecture. Uh, this is now a logical architecture because this is software, not hardware. It is divided into two main parts, kernel mode and user mode. Now I have a schematic of it here. User mode is all of these things that Windows can do that have to do with interfacing with you, the user. Uh, it also is the interface with programs, um, with the command line. Um, everything that you can do to the operating system is right here. And then all of the stuff that has to do with hardware, the hardware side of things, is the kernel mode. Now the actual kernel is down here in kernel mode, and this is kind of the heart of the operating system. That's why it's called the executive. It calls the shots. Uh, it is the one that decides when uh, something can access a certain piece of hardware and when it can't. Device drivers are also part of the kernel. Now there are many device drivers built into the kernel, but when you add device drivers through a piece of software, you're adding them on to kernel. Those are kernel level applications. They're not user level applications. Now user level applications and user processes and services and system processes and all of that is all up here in user mode. This is where applications run. Interestingly, in Windows, the graphical user interface is here in kernel mode. Now, in other types of operating systems, such as Linux and Unix, it works a little bit differently. Much of, There's a driver down here, but then much of it is up here in the user mode, so you can very much uh, change the look and feel of Windows by changing the user mode uh, half of that. And then we have the hardware extraction layer. This is uh, simply the subsystems of the kernel that interface directly with the hardware. And of course, um, that's how these guys get here. And you see there's no line down here, and there really should have been. But uh, when you interface with the computer, it interfaces with the kernel. The kernel then interfaces with the hardware. So we have this intermediate uh, kernel here, the user side, the hardware side.